Hi friends, this is MD Vegan. I have a carrot soup today, very simple, a little bit refined, um, because I will first juice the carrots, and originally I just used the carrots, blended into the avocado, and uh, with a, bit, a little bit of lime. Finish. And now I have a little bit refined version. I begin with the carrot juice, juicing together with the here I have my carrots. I show you first the carrots, the main ingredient today. And you can see I peel them a little bit. Yeah. They sit in the fridge for a while. Or when they're older a little bit, then peeling. Just with a veggie peeler, very easy. Does a great job. Makes a big difference because um, unpeeled they might be a little bit bitter. And that changes. And then they get their sweetness. I need the sweetness in the soup today. So I, I will blend it together, to, uh, juice it together today with the lime and with a little bit of ginger. I have one lime here and a small piece of ginger. I think I will have a half a liter of juice, I will see that. And that may be, uh, yeah, let's say, two centimeters of ginger root. A um, little finger thick, yeah, about. That's always you can adjust uh, to your favorites. A little bit more hot, a little bit less, yeah, ginger can uh, vary. So first I juice the carrots together with the lime and the ginger and be back in a sec. My juice is ready. Yeah, it's um, maybe a little bit more of half a liter. I will begin with a little bit less. And um, first I taste it, of course. I mean, the carrot juice is one of the easiest juices to make. If I give juicing advices, I always say carrot juice or cucumber juice. These are so easy to make. You can just blend five carrots with an apple and you have a wonderful juice. That's that's wonderful. That's amazing and it's super healthy. Carrot juice is okay. You can also buy some carrot juice if you don't want to have a don't have a juice or you don't have a no time to juicing. Although it's so quick, you just buy some carrot juice. It's so easy. You can do it in any way you like. But let me taste it first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, strong flavor, good for our soup. Our lime is there, the ginger is there, and the carrot, of course, the base, nice and sweet. So I bring that into my, in my blender now. I will begin with a little bit less, keep some juice, I can always drink it, or refine. I put it in. It's, that was the foam a little bit. That was half a liter, okay? Let me see. Yeah, it's half a liter. Um, here, my avocado, that's a small avocado, yeah, medium small, and I begin with half an avocado, or I keep one, one of the, one quarter I keep, yeah. and the third ingredient here to the juice is a taro, that's what I really like together with a carrot, I feel it's really a typical spice to use with carrot, I have some dried taro here, and um, I like that combination. Tarragon is called a loud herb. Loud and sweet. That's what the professionals call it. Loud, that means, I guess, it's not so easy to combine with other flavors, like basil or so. You should not do that. Tarragon wants its own character. It's very loud, yeah? Here I am, tarragon. That's me. <laughs> it's very strong flavor. And um, we'll get a little bit of the sweetness, they say. It's, it's very nice and that's what carrot is, sweet. And with, with a, or a lime and orange and lemon, these kind of sour acid flavors, they like the tarragon. Um, it's one of the mint family, tarragon. And um, of course, they have all their health benefits from ancient times cultivated. And I'll blend it together with the carrot to see what happens. The blender dance, of course, first. <laughs> Fresh tarragon, of course, from the garden, or 
yeah, from the shop. Um, of course, better but it is late spring for the tarragon. Now we have a early spring and um, takes some time in the garden to grow. And it's also pretty sensitive. I have the slugs <laughs> in the garden. They first go over my tarragon always, if I happen to have some. So for me, it's not so easy to get tarragon from the garden. Uh, but um, I always have them dried here because I like it a lot, all these herbs. And now I taste it. The texture is nice. I wouldn't put more of the avocado. I have a so three quarters of color for half, half a liter of uh, carrot juice. So let's see the flavor. Mm. Wow, that's a cool flavor. Really nice. Oh, I have to show you the soup. That's really nice. Very basic. Yeah. Oh, this is really this um, mm, the sweetness of the tarragon and from the from the carrot. So nice together, blending so nice. I never did that before. I'm very surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. You can see. What it looks like. The creaminess is what I like from the soup. If you like it creamier, just put uh, the rest of the, the last quarter of the avocado. And uh, this is one bowl. I have a little bit left for a second helping, but it's one good bowl, one little bit helping. And uh, well, this is my soup today. And um, I hope you enjoy and uh, maybe you can relate to tarragon and carrot, the combination will be happy. You can always just blend also carrot juice with lime and avocado. That's a perfect soup. Today it is a refinement. Also take three, but the juice, the three ingredients, avocado and the tarragon. Yeah, there are so many possible varieties for making soup with the carrot juice, for example, other fruit juices, other juices also from fruit. So you can experiment and yeah, come up and show me your um, results. I would be happy to see that. You can also subscribe to MD Vegan on YouTube. I have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.